Hello students, this is Sandrup, Assistant Professor, Department of ISE, and I am here to explain you about the Data Structures Laboratory Programs. Welcome you all to the session. Hello students, um, we'll see on a program number 9 of a Data Structures Laboratory, that is a polynomial addition. Okay, you will have to take two polynomials of coefficients x, y, z and then you have to add those two. That is the first particular uh, requirement and the second one is you have to evaluate the given polynomial equation. Let's see one by one. Now you have to, uh, polynomial equation is something like this which looks something like this. So it will be having coefficient I mean, exponential coefficient of x, y, z and with, re with respect to that they have certain exponentials okay something like this if this is an equation 1 if this is an equation 1 you have an equation 2 and that equation 2 will be something like this now if you had these two the final answer would be this one correct so final answer would be this one so this is what you have supposed to go and do it in as a program using your linked list you have to use your linked lists so now when i am telling it as a linked list clear so your entire equation will be taken say example if i am taking this this is one particular linked list then this is the one which will be considered as one node this is the uh, another one which is considered as another node okay so how does a node picture of an linked list for a polynomial addition looks like this one is the coefficient one next one exponential of x exponential for y and exponential for z and then obviously the next one will be the link node certain times it is also called as a next node okay link or next part so this is one individual which will be looking into and then you have a link and that again goes up with the same numbers coefficient x y z and then link so on and so forth if i am trying to write down this okay if i am trying to write down this in terms of my link list then three comes here what is the power of x that is two what is the power of y one power of z that is three same thing happens over here also the coefficient is seven the power of x is one power of y is two power of z is three and that is the end so it will be saying this one so this is the way you have to uh, first read the data okay how this is how you read it first you have to ask what is the how many number of terms you have in equation number one you have two terms in equation number one you have one term so you have to take until two terms or until one term you have to pick up all the coefficients all the exponentials of x y and then z if you don't have z coefficients you will be writing it as zero or any other coefficients you will uh, I mean any other powers you will be writing it as zero x power zero means you don't have x component something like that now what you have to do it here is you have to take two equations something like this and then you will have to add and you will have to put down the answer so for that i will take a example of same thing three two one three i'll not write the link part uh, diagram directly I'll, I'll be using the arrow mark because of the spacing issue okay uh, I have a 7, 1, 2 and then 3. So this is what you have and assume that you have a null over here. This is equation 1. Okay. And assume I have an another equation 2 which have same exponential and power of one of this particular. I will say 1, 2, 3 and I will take this as 2. Okay. Now what you have to do it here is you will have to first not go with the coefficient coefficients is not my consideration my consideration is only my powers so this power whether it is matching with this power i'll have to check if first powers of x y z and second powers of x y z of equation one and two is matching then i'll go and see my coefficient if these two are not matching then what i'll do i'll go to the next one i'll compare this one with this one now here you have a match okay now what you have to do when you have this one 
when you have the coefficients you will have to go for i mean when you have your exponentials common you will have to go for coefficients here the coefficient is 7 here the coefficient is 2 added together you will be getting up your answer that is 7 plus 2 is 9 the coefficients remains the same of powers of x y z remains the same that is 1 2 and then 3 this remains the same so this is how you are getting the answer okay what is the steps which you have to follow whenever you are going with the uh, polynomial things first thing what you have to do it is you have to read both the polynomials what is the polynomial 1 and polynomial 2 second one you have to then compare what do you have to compare you have to compare the power of x y and then z these three things you have to compare if that is equal if that is equal and that is r if you say that is same then you will have to add the coefficient one with the coefficient two and you will have to append that to new coefficient okay the new coefficient you will have to do and you have to create a the further you have to create a new node that is the, the, the finally the new node has been created no what is the new node which you have to create the new coefficient which is been create which is been generated here this along with the powers of x y and then z putting together you will get your result this is what you are supposed to go and do okay now we'll we'll take that as a programming example here and then we'll see how it exactly goes one after the other okay so to get open okay now see this this tells me how exactly a particular node looked like i have already told you you have a node something like this you have a coefficient part you have an exponential of x you have an exponential of y you have an exponential of z so that is what you have in this and I also have a flag bit which has been attached to this. Why that flag bit is there? Flag bit is just tells me whether that particular equation has been considered or that particular term has been considered already. If it is considered, then I need not to go up with that. And then finally, you have your link part. This is what it has been done. Now, you have to go up with the read. So what you have to read here? When I have to read, I'll have to read all these things. You have to read the coefficients, you have to read the x, you have to read what is the power of y, what is the power of z. And then you have to attach. You are using a term called as attach. What is that attach does? This attach does the same as that of insert friend. Insert friend what you did it in your linked list. Clear? That is what I have been taking here. See, I'll come down to the attach portion here. This is what your attach is. What is this attach does is the one which you have created say example you have created this with some values say i have coefficient this one exponential of so on and so forth this got created now clear when i am calling this this got created by the name temp okay when this got created and all these things have been uh, taken care now i will have one already existing node and that existing node is what i will be calling it as header node and that header node is the one which will be telling me the starting point same like that of your first okay this you are taking one index for this and you are calling it as a current now what is your role if you have any numbers here see if it is one term then you will be having only one if you have two terms you will be having one node and the second node all these nodes you have to get it attached so that is what you have been doing it here you have to attach and finally you have to say return head so what you have been doing it here you are basically attaching your head to the next particular nodes say example if you get another one something like this okay forget about the contents i am not filling the contents now what do you have to do you will have to attach this particular one to the next one which has been existing that is how the word attach came into the picture here and that's why we have been taken attached clear whatever you have read here that needs to be added on to the equation one after the other which is the help of your attach clear now doing these two things your first equation got done as a linked list format your second equation done as a linked list format now what is the next thing you have to do when you get when you get your equation one and equation two then you will have to go for your addition you will have to go for your addition how i'll tell you this see here now what has been got ready there i will be telling you now this is what got ready there equation one 
and then this is my equation to I'll, 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 I'll randomly pick it up okay say this is my coefficient 2 this is my coefficient 3 and this is my x power y power z and this is my x power y power z or something like that randomly I am taking it okay um, it this is somewhere 5 now when I am taking uh, this scenarios okay now if the first one will be equation 1 and the second one will be the equation 2 okay now um, you call this as a first you call this as a second and every individual of this one that is whatever I am in marking this one if I am to point out this I will be pointing it as a if I have to point this I will be pointing it as a if I have to point this I will be pointing it as B okay every individual nodes of my first equation will be going with a every e nodes of second equation will be going with B okay that's what I will be picking it up one after the other now once you have done with all these terminologies what you have to do it here is now you will have to pick up this equation this one this term and then you will have to compare with the entire second one how do i do that that is by doing this one until the end of my this one that is i i may be having any any number of uh, nodes that might be matching to the second one i'll have to compare everything how do i compare three see here i'll pick the values okay this is the one i have been picking it as x1 this i am picking it as y1 this i am picking it as z1 this i will pick it as x2 this i will pick it as y2 this i will pick it as z2 okay now x1 y1 and z1 x2 y2 and z2 should be equal then only i will be adding my coefficients correct so same thing happens here see here i took the first nodes of my first equation here i took the first node of my second equation now it's my uh, uh, task to compare how, how do how do this comparison goes we'll take it up now um, sorry about this dragging thing because this is how this app has been uh, uh, taken into consideration okay now see this if you are all x1 y1 z1 is equal then what you will do you will come up and add these two coefficients and put it into a new coefficient finally you are making a new node ready what either you are going with x1 y1 z1 or x2 y2 z2 both are one and the same right you are taking up all these things along with your coefficient and you are updating it to something called as result clear if it is equal if it is not equal then what you will do you will pick the only empty node and then you will be attaching it to the second equation clear so that is how you are been going with uh, attaching that is addition addition of two polynomials happens there then next one evaluation you are you will have to go for evaluation what is that evaluation means you will have something like this you will be given with the value of x x value is 1 y value is 2 and z value is 3 if this is the case which has been given to you you have to substitute 2 1 to the power of 2 into 1 to the power of 2 into 2 to the power of 1 into 3 to the power of 1 if this should be evaluated that is you have 3 here 3 into 2 that is 6 6 into 1 that is 6 only and then into 2 that will be 12 12 will be the answer this you have to give how you are again giving it same thing you take the value of x y z and all the values you are picking it up and then you are going with the same formula nothing else you are taking the first coefficient and then you are taking the power of the first along with the value second power along with the value third power along with the value and you are going with your multiplication symbol everywhere and you will update it to your result that's it and you got your result why i am going with the result plus it's because you might be having more than one number of terms because here i took only one example if i have to take an another example something like this say it will be one x y z and here the values of my x would be one value of my y would be two value of my z would be three again then what would happen here i'll be substituting with it's, it's as the same formula then it will be one into two into three that is six will be the value now what do i need to do first the result will be 12 then along with that it will be added to this so finally the result will be 18 correct now so this is how you have been going to add up and then evaluate the things 
same thing you have been going up as a main function in your main function what you do you first create your first equation create your second equation you are taking this as a result you are taking this for your evaluation you say first of link will be equals to first these are the mandated uh, things which you have to do because initially it will be null that is what this represents okay then you will ask for your choice if you want to evaluate or if you want to add it depending upon that your choice one and choice two will be called up clear and then finally you have your display which is the one thing which i have not explained what is the display thing is you have this say example if this is an one equation this needs to be displayed as how 2 x power 1 i mean y power 2 and then z power 3 correct plus so on and so forth 3 x power 1 y power 1 and then z power 3 this you have been displaying how you are displaying you are picking it up same way you are telling it here first you say the coefficient then you take an exponentials of x y z and you print it in this order clear that is what been display is all about clear so this is up with your polynomial programs of your data structure